Hi everybody, let's go over a quick example on what we did in class today. And we were using models and diagrams to solve percent problems. You could use tape diagrams, 10 by 10 grids, double number lines, which we used a lot of today um, to help find the connection with ratios, percents, the part and the whole. So if we take a look at the problem here, find 40% of 60 using two different strategies, one which must include a pictorial model or diagram. So when we first start out, when I see it, I, my brain automatically goes 40% is equal to 40 out of 100. So 40% of 60. Well, if I want to try to figure out what 40% of 60 is, I might want to maybe make an equivalent fraction. And I know that I can, 40 out of 100 is equivalent to 4 tenths. Now I have a number that is compatible with 60. So I'm trying to figure out how much is, what 40% is of 60. So I can see that 10 times 6 is 60. So four sets of six is equal to 24. So now I have my answer that 24 is 40% of 60, which makes sense because if I think of a little mental math, 50% or half of 60 is 30 in 24 is less than that, 40% is less than 50, 24 is less than 30. So just doing a quick mental check. Now the other thing is just by using a quick double number line. And with my double number line, I know I've got 100% is equal to 60. So I know I've got 0 here and then 0%. So I want to break it down so I can find 40%. So it'll probably be easy to count by tens to get up to 100%. So when I do mine, I'm just going to first cut it in half and say 50% is here. And that means half of 60 is 30. So then I've got my 10, 20, 30, 40%. And 40% is where I want. So I also look at now that if I'm dividing this up, I've got five equal parts, and I've got 30 here that has to also be divided into these five equal parts. So I can either do 30 divided by 5 to find out what 10% is, or I could look at the whole and do I've got 10 equal parts when I'm all done down here and do 60 divided by 10 equal parts. So either way, 60 divided by 10 or 30 divided by 5 gives me each part is worth 6. So if 10% is 6, another 6 is 12, another 6, and another 6 gives me my 24. And there is my visual that 40% of 60 is equal to 24. So there's two different ways to represent what you're doing in class today when you're finding a percent of a number. And I hope that will help. You only have three problems to do um, on the takeout from the problem set on lesson 26.